that's the problem. Most bird strikes occur close to the ground at the very time when there is least opportunity to appraise the situation. Nevertheless, the record shows that establishing flight path control first before taking action on the engine is a more successful strategy than taking immediate action with the engine. There have been accidents resulting from bird strike related rejected takeoffs above V1 speed, and in each case the airplane was in fact safe to fly. Therefore, rejecting a takeoff due to a bird strike at speeds above V1 is not considered to be appropriate. Bird strike by an engine may be accompanied by audible thuds, vibration, engine surge, unpleasant odors, and abnormal engine instrument readings such as high EGT. Throttling back an engine may be needed to clear a stall after the airplane has been placed on a stable flight path. If the engine involved cannot be positively identified, do not shut it down. In the unlikely event of multiple engines surging, prompt action may be required to clear the stall on the engines one at a time to assure that some power is available later. Engine vibration may be caused by a fan unbalance. This can come from ice buildup. It may also come from the fan blade material loss or aerodynamic excitation from blade distortion due to foreign object damage. Vibration can also come from internal engine failure such as a bearing failure. Cross-reference of all engine parameters will help to establish whether an engine failure actually exists. Engine-induced vibration felt on the flight deck may not be indicated on instruments. For some engine failures, severe vibration may be experienced after the engine has been shut down to the point where instruments are difficult to read. This vibration is caused by the unbalanced fan, windmilling at an engine speed close to an airframe's natural frequency, which amplifies the vibration. Changing airspeed and or altitude will change the fan windmill speed, and an airplane speed may be found where there will be much less vibration. There is no risk of an airplane structural failure due to vibratory engine loads during this windmilling action. From a flight crew member's perspective, one of the most startling events is the engine surge or stall on takeoff or during flight. An engine surge is, in the simplest terms, the breakdown of the airflow in a turbine engine. When the compressor blades stall, they are no longer able to force the air through the engine from front to rear. Now the high-pressure air in the middle of the engine can escape explosively from front and back simultaneously. Usually there are visible flames from both ends of the engine, accompanied with one or more very loud bangs. This violent airflow reversal will produce an instant loss of thrust and an immediate yaw that will literally spill most of the coffee from your cup. This yaw is accompanied by a vibration that cannot be duplicated in the simulator. Bird strikes, internal engine failures, engine pneumatic bleed malfunctions, or internal engine clearance changes can cause a surge. It is usually a problem in the compressor system and so is often referred to as a compressor surge or compressor stall. The magnitude of the symptoms, such as the loudness of the noise and the severity of the vibration, vary with the power setting and the type of instability in the compression system. Low altitude and high power settings produce the loudest bangs and the most violent yaw and vibration. High altitude surges are frequently associated with engine power changes during leveling off or when initiating an altitude change. High altitude surges generally result in a muffled noise, light vibration, and increasing EGT and may require power reduction to clear the condition. Some surges allow the engine to recover with no flight crew action. Others recover after flight crew action to reduce power. The most severe surges are non-recoverable. When the engine recovers by itself, it is best to just fly the airplane and not interfere with the engine. Identification of a recoverable compressor surge or stall condition based on engine parameter fluctuations or changes alone can be difficult due in part to the fact that the event is usually over in the blink of an eye. Generally, most flight crews identify the condition as an engine malfunction when the EGT exceeds its limits or the EGT gauge turns red. 
If EGT continues to rise following a surge, the thrust lever should be retarded to allow the engine to recover. Then, after the engine recovers, power should be reapplied slowly. If the engine does not stall again when the power lever is re-advanced, the power can be left high. If the engine stalls again with the reapplication of power lever input, the power setting may need to be left at a lower power or idle condition. Continue to fly the airplane to ensure the indications return to normal. If the engine does not recover or the EGT remains out of limits, then a shutdown of the engine may be the logical choice depending on the operational situation. Your flight manual and checklists identify the specific procedures to follow. Remember that an engine at idle still provides power for airplane systems and creates less drag than if shut down. There have been numerous occasions where a high power compressor surge has occurred during the takeoff roll or initial climb out and the flight crew was notified by the tower that an engine was on fire. As a result, the flight crews accomplished the engine fire checklist and shut down the engine, even though there was no fire warning enunciated in the cockpit. The tower saw fire out the inlet and tailpipe, and their information regarding seeing flames outside the engine was correct, but an engine shutdown was not necessary since this was not actually an aircraft fire. While the likelihood of high power engine surge is rare, the startle factor associated with loud bangs and airplane vibration has led to instances of inappropriate action such as rejecting the takeoff after the V1 speed, shutting down the wrong engine, improperly executing the failure climb profile, or failing to comply with established ground tracks to clear rising terrain. Only take action to address the surge after stabilizing the flight path. Recent interviews with pilots who have experienced high power compressor surge malfunctions during takeoff and initial climb have revealed that they have initially thought that a bomb had exploded, or that they hit a truck, or had a mid-air collision. Remember, no matter how loud the bang, airplane control is always the first priority.